This is where everybody told us we had to check out and we are finally here. That was so freaking cool. We're Steph and Travis, Canadians who didn't know much about sailing. We didn't let that or a global pandemic stop us from living our dreams and we've been winging it ever since. We took off from Toronto and made it to Grenada in year one and we've got no plans on stopping. Subscribe to join our life on the water. Thanks to our patrons who keep the dream going. Hey guys, welcome back to Sailing Gypsy. This week, we're sailing to where we've much anticipated in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We're heading to the Tobago Keys. Where do we want to moor? Life's coming slow. I like to look at all the boats to see what they're doing. If it's a monohull, if it's pendulum or rocking or whatever, then uh, I try to figure out where the smoothest one is. And then I know that's gonna be smooth. This is where everybody told us we had to check out and we are finally here and it is super pretty. I love how light the water is, how turquoise and clear. I can't wait to get in. Looks sweet. Diving on our anchor. Park rangers are making their way around all the boats in the anchorage. Uh, to collect money because it's a marine park so there is a fee for staying whether you choose to pick up one of the mooring balls that they have here or whether you choose to anchor same fee applies and it is 10 EC per person which works out to three dollars and seventy cents US per person per night not too shabby for such a beautiful spot we're not sure how long we're gonna stay here for so we just paid for the day they did ask us how long we planned on staying because you could pay all up front if you want but we just take it day by day and we'll see how long we decide to stay. There are like 15 boats here so far. And about a week ago, our friends were here and they told us that they were the only boat here. But the weather wasn't the best. We had like a few good days of just solid haze. And I think that was due to the Sahara dust as well as La Palma, the volcanic um, activity there. So it just created this thick haze all over the Grenadines. Like we couldn't even see the islands um, like next over, which were only like three nautical miles. But it's all cleared up now, so everyone comes rushing to this spot because, I mean, it's freaking beautiful, so best time to come. Okay, I'm getting in. best snorkeling we've seen so far. Oh yeah. Like, because it feels like you're in an aquarium. Like there's, out? it's an abundance of coral and fish everywhere. It's a big area. Yeah, I would even say like it plays pretty heavy even towards the like the Bahamas for for sea life. Yeah, but we can't eat them here. <laughs> ah, well, we can just enjoy it.
was so freaking cool. We have, we can snorkel there forever. We have to come back to where I'm warning and check it out. Yeah, there's literally endless reef. There's like stuff all around. It's crazy how much stuff you can explore here. I did see a shark. I was trying to call you. It was like maybe four feet. I think it was a reef shark. Yeah. I really wanted to film him. The Tobago Keys are made up of five small islands. Faradel, Petit Bateau, Petit Rameau, James B, and Petit Tabac. Faradel is a nesting ground for sea turtles, and there's a turtle reserve area where we're told you can swim with them. Although we didn't see them in the reserve, we did see turtles all around our boat. Petit Bateau is the largest island and are where the beach barbecues take place. The boat boys will be sure to let you know all about them as soon as you arrive to the marine park. At 100 EC, or $50 Canadian per person, we had to pass this time around. I think I just found a fresh coconut. Is it good? Yeah. Woo! Good size one. That's like, there's got to be some water in that. Yeah. James B is the small island located behind us. We used it in the morning as a workout beach. island here is where they maroon Jack Sparrow on Pirates of the Caribbean and the Black Pearl. So it's pretty cool. We're going to check that out, uh, I don't know, today or tomorrow? We're going to go see if the rum catch is there. <laughs> Probably not, but... I'm going to see if I can take the alternate route, take the express route down. It just rained, so it's a little slick. Might be a real express route all the way down. But why the rum? Why is the rum gone? This island's pretty sweet. Super cool. The topography is a lot different. Like the sand used to... I think the sand came out a lot further because they had the beach fire like out here. And that's probably why these palm trees uh, fell over because there's no more sand there. So it's crazy to see like, you know, 15 or so years ago. Really neat. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, you can kind of tell all back here that there probably was a lot more sand.
And if you're not scared of things going bump in the night, this is a great place to do a night snorkel. After a couple of wonderful days in the park, we're heading back to Union Island to tuck away from the wind. Chatham has got to be the calmest anchorage we've been to so far. So today, we get to go scuba diving. Our friends over here have a couple extra tanks and they're uh, invited us to go scuba diving today. And then we have some other friends over here over here or wherever over there. They got some tanks, so there's gonna be six of us going out scuba diving. We're gonna go uh, around the point here. And it uh, should be pretty fun. I'm excited to stick my head in all the little crevices and really see what it's like. Excited? <laughs> 